Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be about the things that I wear but I have trouble putting on or I have trouble fastening it up and anything like that. So let's just get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm not going to actually try on, but it is harder for me to button it up while wearing it. First thing is a bodysuit. So I love bodysuits the past year or so, like last year, I really got into bodysuits into lockdown. I just love them. They are more practical, but this part is not practical. It takes me so long to actually button it like that of course I can do it more easier when it's not on my body like that but when it is on my body it is harder to button up so that's the first thing but I still wear them I've only got two but I do want to try and get some more but they are hard to do <laughs> Now we're going to get into like the clothes section of me actually trying them on. Most of you will know that I love my cardigan. It's another thing that I've been loving in this whole lockdown, in the first lockdown and the second. I've just been loving it the whole entire times that we've had lockdown and just COVID. But the thing with me is I, I can fasten these, but it takes... I need to proper push it through so when you button up your jacket or like cardigan in this case and you just walk forward and you can just button it up I can do that but it takes me longer most of the time I need to stop and do it so because that's why I've done it more easier but if I'm just like buttoning it up and like it well as you can see it's not really coming out so it's not that it's di more difficult, it just takes me longer to do. I don't know if it's because the holes aren't big enough for me to be able to push the button through, even though they are fine for an average person. But I'm going to show you with another cardigan. So this is another cardigan. That cardigan was from New Look and this cardigan is from Boohoo. And the holes are a little bit smaller and the buttons I would say is the average size so as you can see I don't to me it's just not as quick as I would like to button up my cardigans it just if i quickly do it i can't do it i need to like proper concentrate on doing the buttons so that's why it's harder for me to like walk and do the buttons at the same time so every single coat is different but i don't have as much trouble now but when i was younger i barely could do zips i could not do them up i would always need to get my mum or dad to do them or my sister but now I can pretty much do them. So let's just zip up my coat. is my coat zipped up as you can see it's not as difficult as when I was younger it still takes me a bit of time I can't just do it up and then zip up but I can actually do it now so that's a good thing but I just want to show you like I know I can't show you what I was like when I was younger but just take my me saying it I could not do it when I was younger and now I can took a while of like learning it
So I eventually done that. That took me a whole minute. Mm, this will probably be cut down this bit. But that took me a whole minute. Sometimes it doesn't take me that long, but it all depends. But I've just put it over my clothes. But this is the dress. I've been loving this type of collar. But you can see what the problem is. I can't really fasten up that button. To be honest, by that time, I've tried like five three times I would normally just go and ask my mum or dad to fasten it up for me but I wanted to show you the reality of how long it would take me if I actually done it myself I can do it but it's more quicker to go and ask someone if I've tried like three or four times and it's still not working but <laughs> that's probably was like the fourth or five, fifth time that I like I've finally done it Let's get on to the last and final thing. It's not really a thing I can't do, but it's a thing that I've learnt because I can't do the original way. Normally, I'll have these tied up already. The good thing is I used to wear these all the time because they were easy. You just tied them up once and zipped them up. I could do that, like wear them multiple times without zipping them up. But I've just untied it to show you what it looks like. So I think everyone knows the normal way, but this is the way I do it. I've done a shorts on this as well. And that is pretty much it. So that is everything that I struggle more than the average person with. But it doesn't stop me buying cardigans, loads of cardigans, body suits or shoes with laces i will say when i was younger well body suits weren't really around they've only been around for like three years i would say but when i was younger i used to get these tie off shoes they were so much easier i still love vans i wear them all the time but before i would stay away from laces as much as i can but now when my dad showed me that the video i saw on facebook one day I couldn't buy shoes again. It's not that I couldn't buy shoes, but I just needed to ask for help. And, and I'm a very independent person. I like to do things on my own, so it takes me a while for like to actually ask for help because I want to try and do it on my own as much as I can. That is pretty much everything. As you can see, the main thing that I struggle with is them types of buttons with the small little buttons on the dressy but again i don't make that top me buying dresses but i just want to show you guys what i do have trouble doing with my left side hemiplegia or cerebral palsy whatever one you want to call it it's kind of both the same but if you did like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what other types of videos you want and i'll see you next time bye